Hey Gemini, what are the fastest blockchains out there? Well, right from the start, we got Sui and Solana at the top of the list. No surprises there. But Sui has just upgraded their consensus method to Mr. SETI. This proves to be the fastest and most efficient blockchain out there with transactions hitting finality in less than a second. Now, we're going to go into what that means later in this video, as well as walking through the DeFi experience of Sui and Solana so you can see what that is and you can come to your own decisions of which one is faster and which one you'd like to use. Now, no offense to Solana, I use both Sui and Solana because that's where the users are, that's where the coins are, and both prove to be a better experience than using any type of EVM chain, that's the Ethereum virtual machine. Those are blockchains that use Ethereum tools like Ethereum, BNB chain, Optimism, Arbitrum. Now, that's not to say anything bad about it, but Sui and Solana have different takes on how a blockchain should operate. Now, this video is sponsored by the Sui Foundation, but I'm just going to keep things unbiased and I just want to showcase what things are like so you can make your own decisions. I'm Dan and let's get started. What are the fastest blockchains? And when thinking about speed, you have to think about block time, transaction finality and settlement finality. Now, we'll get into what that means and what that looks like later, but a lot of blockchains claim to be fast and cheap, and that's true, but that's because there aren't a lot of people using those blockchains. Ethereum, for example, if no one is using it, transactions are going to be very fast and very cheap, where maybe a second isn't really going to make a difference, but when you're talking about high transaction volume and keeping that consistent and affordable, that's when the data can really start to shift. So when it comes to all these different factors in speed, the most important thing is settlement finality. The outcome of the transaction is final and available on chain. Because if a transaction isn't final, it might error out, it might not go through, and even though you went through the transaction process, the transaction fails. So that's why settlement finality is important. You want that to be done quickly so you can finalize any of your blockchain activities like DeFi, trading, swapping, staking, whatever it may be. You want your settlement to be immediate so you can make sure your transaction was successful. And the settlement finality for Sui is just under one second. And for Solana, it generally takes about four to five seconds. So we'll keep that in mind when we go through the examples later in this video. Now, if you want to get technical about how Sui actually achieves this, you can read the white paper, Mr. SETI reaching the latency limits with uncertified DAGs. Now, I use AI a lot because it's very useful, and DAGs in crypto, they are a type of distributed ledger technology, DLT, that offer a potential alternative to the traditional blockchain structures, unlike the linear chain of blocks, blockchain, DAGs form a network of interconnected nodes, allowing for a more complex and potentially more efficient data structure. And some popular blockchains that use crypto DAGs are IOTA, Nano, and Hashgraph. Now, this white paper goes into all the different details of how they do this and how they make things happen. And it's written in a very technical way where if you are trying to build something, you'll know how everything works in detail. But if you're a regular person like me just reading through this, it's not going to make any sense. So in this case, we're going to use AI again. I dropped the white paper in Google Gemini. This isn't an advertisement for them. There are a lot of AI tools. And here's what they spat out. Imagine you're trying to decide on a restaurant with your friends. Everyone has a different preference and you need to come to an agreement quickly. Now the traditional consensus method, Narwhal Bullshark, everyone votes for their favorite restaurant. The votes are collected and processed one by one and it might take a while to get everyone's vote and reach a decision. Now with Mr. SETI consensus, everyone votes on their favorite restaurant. Now, instead of waiting for each vote to be processed individually, the votes are grouped together and processed in batches. This means you can get to a decision much faster, especially if there are a lot of people involved. Now, that does simplify things, but when we get to the point of instead of waiting for each vote to be processed individually, the votes are grouped together and processed in batches. So that is the key thing we have to keep in mind, and that's what Mr. SETI is doing differently. Now, I'm going to give a better example in a moment, but let's just keep going through this. 
Now, the key benefits of Mr. SETI, faster decision making. Just like voting in batches, Mr. SETI can process transactions much quicker, reducing the time it takes for a transaction to be confirmed. Lower resource requirements, by processing transactions in batches, Mr. SETI doesn't need as much computing power from each validator, making it more efficient. High throughput, even with a larger number of transactions, Mr. SETI can still handle them quickly and efficiently. In summary, Mr. SETI is a new consensus protocol that improves on the traditional way of processing transactions. By grouping transactions together and processing them in batches, it can make transactions faster, more efficient, and handle a larger number of transactions at once. Now to really wrap my head around their consensus method, it's because multiple transactions are being processed at the same time while other things are verifying other things at the same time. So let's look at another example. Let's say you're in a classroom and the teacher takes attendance. Let's take a roll here. They have to go through their attendance list one person at a time. D nice. As you can imagine, the more students you have, the more time consuming it's gonna be to take attendance. Get out of my goddamn classroom before I break my foot off in your ass. But let's say one day you get a substitute teacher, Mr. Seti. Mr. Eddie, wonderful to meet you. And Mr. Seti takes attendance in a different way, and it's much faster. He starts off by calling on one student, and that student has to check if another student is present. Timothy. Present. So it creates this chain effect where multiple verifications are happening at the same time. Now let's say a Aaron and D Nice aren't there. Well, that's why each proposer or student in this case helps verify multiple students' attendance. So you don't have to trust just one student, you're getting the same attendance confirmation from other students too. That's essentially what Mr. SETI is doing. It's processing all these transactions at once, and that's how they're able to get to settlement finality under one second. Solana versus Sui, and yes, I did steal that image from the Google search results, but we're just gonna go over the DeFi experience and what that's like. Now that's not to say anything negative, I just wanna showcase that outside of the Ethereum and EVM worlds, that the trading experience is a lot better on alternative blockchains. So starting off in Sui, if you are going to get started here, I would recommend the Sui wallet extension. And the great thing about this is you can log in with a social account like your Gmail account or your Twitch account and potentially more in the near future. So that makes creating a crypto wallet incredibly easy and it only takes several clicks. And again, you don't even have to write down your seed phrase. With Solana, the go-to wallet is Phantom. It is a browser extension. You do have to use the traditional methods of saving a crypto wallet, that means a seed phrase or a pass key. Now I'm not endorsing any coins here, but the great thing about Solana's wallet is that it's gonna show you your balance, like whatever coins you have and if they have any value. It's not just gonna show you a list of coins where you have zero. I'm looking at you, MetaMask, and a lot of different EVM wallets. That doesn't make sense. So the wallet experience for showing your assets here is really nice. And the great thing about Phantom Wallet is it allows you to trade within their wallet. You don't have to go to another website. That really simplifies things. So let's say if we want to trade a coin here, we select our asset and then we hit swap. And in just a moment, you'd be able to trade your coin. So let's take note of how long this lasts. So we're gonna swap and these tokens are changing. It's done. It took a few seconds. It didn't take one second, but it took a few seconds. So we can show the time uh, there with the power of editing and me not uh, making any cuts. So I'm going to try to make that a smooth experience. Then we want to make a trade on Sui and see what that looks like. So let's say I want to trade 10 Sui for some FUD tokens. This is just an example and not a recommendation. Although I am holding some uh, of this token, I'm just not saying you should buy it. It is not uh something you should do and yes it's done it was pretty much instant and that's why i think sui is very fast but you know this doesn't really matter for most people they want a good experience which both blockchains do provide although with parallel transactions i think you'll see in a moment that saving a few clicks is pretty nice 
So let's take a look at a lending platform that is available on both Solana and Sui in different forms. So Save Finance, formerly known as Solend, they are also available on Sui as Sui Lend Protocol. So we're going to use this platform as an example of an apples to apples comparison on that experience. So here we are in the Sui Lend dashboard. I am going to connect my burner account and we are connected. That was one click and we want to do something a little different. So let's go into swap. And let's say we want to do something different. We'll trade some SWE for another coin. Let's trade it for some ETH. And we want to trade 50 SWE or 60 SWE because that's what I typed. And we'll be able to swap and deposit into this lending platform and earn 6.5% APR while we're at it with one button. So we're going to show off all the clicks here. I'm going to hit swap and deposit. And then I'm going to confirm it in my wallet. And just a second, that's it. No edits, it's done. Oh, I'm sorry, it was down here. Uh, that's where the confirmation is. You swapped 60 SWE for ETH and it deposited it into the ETH SWE Lend pool. So we can look at the transaction time here and all the different things that happened. So it split the coins, it moved it, it transferred it all pretty quick. Now I'm gonna do it one more time just because I did not have the notification up there and we're gonna do it again. We're gonna trade 60 SWE and we're gonna swap and deposit for Ethereum and earn 6.5 for 1%. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit swap and deposit. We are gonna approve this transaction and in just a second, that's it. The notification is there. Our transaction is complete. It has been finalized. And in just those two clicks, we were able to trade for a coin and deposit assets into this lending protocol. So you can see we have our ETH here, we have 0.04 ETH, and it is a deposited asset into the Sui Lend platform. Now, not a promotion or anything, but to earn points through Sui Lend, it depends on how much you borrow. So it doesn't really matter how much you deposit if you want to earn Sui Lend points. But if you do have deposits, you're still going to be earning that uh, deposit APR, which is 6.51% at the moment. Here we are in Save Finance, the sister product of Sui Lend, and we are going to connect our Phantom Wallet. That brings up this prompt. One click, we are connected. And let's see what we can do here. So it is another lending protocol where we can deposit and earn interest on our assets and we can also borrow against them. But unfortunately, Safe Finance does not have the same features as it does on Sweeland just because there aren't parallel transactions on Solana. So for example, if we want to trade some of our Solana for Ethereum and deposit that into the protocol, this is what it looks like. We are gonna have to go into our wallet. We wanna go to swap and we wanna trade our Solana up here at the top for some Ethereum. So I'm going to type in ETH. I'm going to select that. We are going to trade 0.1 Solana. Review order. Swap. Tokens are swapping. Still swapping. A little more than one second. We're going to close that. We're going to go into this ETH uh, pool. Yeah, I'm, trying, I'm trying not to edit anything. Uh, and we are going to, there it is. Our ETH has been deposited. Our balance was updated. We're going to select our balance that populates everything here. We're going to deposit our ETH. The transaction is going to appear in a second. We're going to hit confirm. That's another click. And in just a moment, the transaction has been confirmed. So that's what the experience looks like. And it's even worse on Ethereum and EVM chains. So now we know what that DeFi experience looks like on Sui and Solana. Now to recap, we went over settlement finality, the importance of transaction speeds, and Mr. Seti, what they're doing to process these transactions very quickly. So next time you're at a party or some type of crypto event and people are talking about the fastest blockchains, you might be able to say something about Mr. Seti and Sui and sound like a smart jerk. You don't need a YouTube channel yet because I, I don't want that competition, but that's essentially what Sui is doing. We also went over the DeFi experience on Solana and Sui. Both are great blockchains. I go wherever the activity is and for the user experience, I love using Sui. And that's, again, not to say anything bad about Solana. They've done a fantastic job in growing their ecosystem and surviving after several large tragedies. 
So uh, big respect to them. And if you found this video useful, you know what to do. And with that, I hope you got your full value for today.